Look, when our surface book three arrived, <laughs> you could really be forgiven for not seeing a difference between this version here and the previous version of the surface book. However, I have always been like Popper, always been intrigued by Microsoft's attempt to really create the perfect two-in-one device. And that is one of the reasons why I invested in the surface book too, but then I did sell it on six months later. However, how come a long time Apple user, and I mean like really long, is making that switch. I think it is a combination of both. The Surface Book 3, it is simply an awesome device and many people were looking for that big design change, the thinner bezels and you know the revolutionary design coming along, but there are reasons for big bezels on this one here. But I also think that Apple is just not doing enough. They're basically just fixing the issues that have been imposed on us. We all like to collaborate these days and one thing I'll say about Microsoft is they do not want you to look like you've been dragged through a hedge and this camera is great. Isn't it? We slightly enhance this footage here so you can see that is actually Tony who's speaking into the MacBook Pro. The matter of fact, the matter of fact is that are many people leaving the Apple ecosystem to go to Windows, to a Windows device. Comparing the Surface Book 3 with the previous version I had, the Surface Book 2, this version feels really, really fast, like lightning fast. I just want to show you guys some Geekbench results and you know numbers are numbers, but here you go. My Surface Book 3 has a 10th generation Intel Core i7 installed and yes, I have the 32 gigabyte model here with me and I don't really need that much power, but I still spec it out really that much. You never know, you better be safe than sorry, right? When I look at my 2018 MacBook Pro, I also have the 32 gigabyte version installed, but then when I look at the applications that are running in the background, which is zero, I only have 22 gigabyte available. So please forgive me for specking out this version because I just thought you better be safe than sorry but then I discovered when I opened my task manager here on this machine on the Surface Book 3 it shows me in percentage when nothing is running in the background that I have 26 gigabyte of RAM still available for my personal pleasure and usage. Microsoft has increased the speed for the internal SSD and look at that that seems really respectable to me and just for some kind of reference point of reference I have included now the Surface Go 2 Core M3 version to just give you an idea what that is like. Oh my god I have ports I have ports available on this machine I have really proper ports I have a USB-C I have a USB-A I have a full size SD card slot and you know what I don't need any dongle the thing you can do to really mimic your dongle life is buy a service dock a docking station and that kind of is the closest thing to get to a dongle but you don't need it it is only there if you want to expand your service book free what seriously that's what we make from this just think about the money Apple has made with the dongles, right? And I understand their argument. I get what they're saying with the full Thunderbolt 3 ports with the four you get on the higher end model. I kind of get that. And yeah, I did it all. I was there, I was fully invested, right? I had my 5K external monitor. I had my external eGPU plugged in. However, I still needed a dongle for my SD cards and all other peripherals I wanted to plug in. And really, at the end of the day, it didn't make any difference of the power I had available in my machine because the, I had the i9 version and every time I had a video call like a Zoom meeting or everything else, the CPU started to throttle down and the fans kicked in and that was really, really annoying. I know I could have gone outside, right? When it was really cold outside, minus 20 degrees here in Munich, I could have taken the MacBook outside and could have had all my work done outside, right? I just don't feel like it paying five thousand dollars for it and then sitting outside to have the performance that really i was promised on paper on this note let's see what the gtx 1650 has in store for our surface book 3 and we're looking at unigen heaven here 4.0 not bad, not bad. What about the Surface Book 3 cooling solution? Well, Microsoft uses some sort of hybrid cooling here. Heat pipes within the tablet and the fans pushing heat out of vents within the base. And that's why it is called hybrid. But when they come on, there really is not more than like a gentle breeze unless you game or do more intensive work. But then it's more like a powerful whoosh. But I was really pleased about the combination of the cooling system and the power that was still available in the Surface Book 3.
This is not a review unit by Microsoft. I paid 2,500 US dollars for this unit here. And ouch, it is a 30.5 inch version of the Surface Book 3. And I know, I admit, it is a lot of money. Admittedly, it is expensive, but so is the MacBook Pro. But can your MacBook Pro do this? Or maybe this? No, I don't think so. Mine can't and I don't think it has changed, but here's the but. Apple wants you to buy their iPad on top of the MacBook you already have. Just don't know, you may need it when you want to take down notes, right? You want to feel like a traditional notepad? You never know. To me, writing notes kind of really feels way more creative. It feels like I've been there, I've been part of this meeting, I've been there kind of being in the moment. And every time I get my notes out and I revisit notes, then I can see, I can feel that I was really part of a certain meeting, right? But now things change. People want to type, people want to type faster, people want to type a script and they want to type notes. And I get that. And therefore keyboard is really key. You see what I did here? Keyboard is key. You know what, the keyboard is really great on the Surface Book 3. It has added key travel compared to the previous version, yet people still complain. I see some reviewers out there, they say, well, I want to game on it. I want to game on the keyboard. I want the number pad. I want this and that. You know what, one more complaint and they're going to get my butterfly keyboard in the post tomorrow. Let's see how that works out. And look, maybe Apple wanted to give us consumers when they were releasing the butterfly keyboard more for less. Which other keyboard out there can really type multiple letters at the same time okay okay i got you i got you i hear you i hear you it has been fixed it did have been fixed and i get that for me however for somebody who invested in the 2018 apple macbook pro for 5k that would mean i would have to invest at least another 3 to 4k to get the same model and to have a new keyboard one of my favorite tests is the base mark 3 benchmark test and all it does is it checks your hardware in conjunction with your browser basically the capabilities of your machine when using web-based application and then look at that number 860 points is really pretty much on the higher end of laptops you can get these days i have also included the surface go to core m3 model just as a kind of a point of a reference here there's something about connecting the Xbox controller to your Surface Book 3. It feels pretty cool playing that way. And you know, none of our videos are complete unless we do our Fortnite test and we manage to get up to 100 frames per second, which is pretty cool. So if I really spend a lot of money, if I spend even more money to have issues fixed, well, I might as well invest in something else. I invest in a product that is around and I invest in a product that is maybe just an iteration, but it keeps their value. It keeps the value of that product. And i.e. Surface Book 3. When I sold my Surface Book 2, I did get a reasonable amount of money for it. And although it is just an iteration design-wise, it really takes a lot of boxes when it comes to performance and to the need of my, really, my creative life or life, whatever you want to call it. And therefore, thank you, Microsoft, for really keeping this dream of a two-in-one alive. Thank you for watching. Yancy from Space. Peace out. Money.